I said you can see it on the camera, but I got one of them. I'll set up and be pointing in the other directions. So the camera was at a pretty crappy angle. I had to just hurry and whip it around. It's kind of cocked sideways. I was at a pretty crappy angle myself to shoot. I was able to whistle and get them to stop. Took a quick look to see if any of them were bucks. Didn't see any antlers. I was going to shoot the doe, but at the last minute, I thought it might be less sad to shoot one of the smaller ones. So the younger ones weren't running around motherless. And so I took aim at the second one and shot. And then hit it in the back, broke his back. So unfortunately, I don't know if it died instantly or not. Hopefully it didn't suffer too much. It seemed like a fairly traumatic ordeal for me anyway. <laughs> but uh, then I come over here and get it and washed about a hundred yards down the river so I had to look for it in the water. But uh, I figured another reason I figured I'd shoot one of the smaller ones is it was still pretty early and I thought I might have a chance to rattle up rattling up a buck and uh, I figured with the, one of the smaller ones if I did shoot a buck then at least maybe it wouldn't be a complete nightmare trying to haul them out together by myself. But unfortunately I think I probably should have shot the doe because when I got over here and looked at this one, I realized it, it's actually got some spikes starting to protrude here. So unfortunately, in Texas, this counts as a buck. So I've used my buck tag for the year. 